the battle for control of the U.S. House of Representatives is remarkably close. Republicans currently hold an eight-seat minority, a majority over Democrats. Both parties are looking at states like New York, where several tightly contested congressional races could change the balance of power. CBS News congressional correspondent Scott McFarland traveled to the Hudson Valley to find out why. As the leaves change color along the Hudson River in New York, the question here is, will key New York districts change color too in some of the most hotly contested congressional battlegrounds? Even Woodstock, the community of peace and love, is now part of the rough and tumble. Well, we're not having a very peaceful, loving year. We're so divided right now. Just one Janice Hardgrove is a former professional singer who now runs a cupcake shop in a house that once belonged to Bob Dylan in New York's 19th congressional district. Women's reproductive rights have been her top issue since a health scare more than a generation ago. I needed to have an abortion, and if that hadn't existed back in the 1990s, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. 40 minutes south in the college town of New Paltz, we visited Mud Puddle Cafe. Here in the heated 18th district race, voters know the stakes, including Democrat Terry Dolan. What's the thing that's mobilizing people or motivating people? The rising cost of housing, the rising cost of groceries. We have right now seven units of affordable housing under a city ordinance, and we probably have a hundred families on a waiting list waiting for affordable housing. You are a Republican. 100%. Mamdou Sousali says border security is a top concern. I came here legally, I became an American citizen, and I did the right steps. What do you think when the candidates say the border is a crisis? That there's a... That's, I tell you one thing, this thing is the worst thing, like we have fear to go to the city. We used to go to the city all the time. There are suddenly so many competitive races in this state of all places because in recent years under court orders, they redrew the district lines. So suddenly there are several competitive races up and down the Hudson River. At least a half dozen of the House races are duels in which both sides have combined to raise millions. Five of those congressional seats are currently held by Republicans. Martin Schaffer is a dean and political science professor at Marist College in New York's 18th congressional district. This has been a movement towards the valley for a long time from the city. COVID just exponentially added to that. So when new people come in from New York City, they're bringing a different mindset. I believe health decisions should be made between a woman and her doctor. Two of the first-term Republican incumbents were among the first to co-sponsor a Democratic bill to strengthen protections for IVF. As Democrats, including one seeking to oust a Republican on Long Island, released ads talking tough on the border. We're 2,000 miles from Mexico, but we're feeling the migrant crisis almost every day. The political parties have been pouring millions of dollars into one of the most expensive regions in America, saturating voters with messaging and attempting to sway their decisions. Does the election bring anxiety? Yeah, it's been very stressful because that's all anybody talks about. And with control of Congress in the balance, it'll be at least a few more days before a return to the usual rhythm here. Nineteen sixty seven gold. I think it was the young bloods, but that's just an okay. <laughs> aspirational stress. song at this moment, isn't I know, it? It's so true. Scott McFarlane obviously joining mm -hmm. us now. Yeah, let's talk about the uh, the local races that people aren't talking about that we should be concerned about. I'm glad you asked. Let's address the ones that were not yep. a part of yep. that feature. There is a group of people in Washington who want to watch what happens in the Connecticut fifth. Waterbury, Danbury, Fairfield, and New Jersey, the Tom Kane, Sue Altman race in northern New Jersey, because Though they may not be pure toss-ups, they give an early indication over who is performing well as a party. Those are among the first sets of races to come in. So all those close races in the West Coast, in the Midwest, can look at those as bellwethers as to what happens next. All right, what happens next? Great question about Long Island and the Hudson Valley. We've been studying this for really the two years since we had the so-called red wave. And a lot of people are sitting there saying, was that just a one-off or is that a trend? What are we seeing now, right now, between the Democrats but and the Republicans? There's a reason you're seeing all those advertisements and your mailbox is just jammed with all those flyers. I mean, these races locally have cost tens of millions of dollars. That's bonkers 
for congressional races because there's concern about another wave, Dick. You mentioned the red wave through New York in 2022 where they seized a whole bunch of seats that were held by Democrats. There's a thought that these races may still be somewhat synchronized where one party can win a bunch and with a margin of error of only four seats in the House, that's the game. And you were going to be all over it there. Yes, and, uh, that's all our this, mission. You'll be here all this week. It's great to have you in-house instead of down in D.C. Until there's a winner, that's so maybe through Thanksgiving. And, and, and Scott's a local boy. You might not know that, but he knows these areas better than anybody. Scott, Proudly. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. Of course. And for more on New York's closely watched races and the balance of power in Washington, Scott will join CBS political reporter Marsha Kramer to break it all down. Watch The Point with Marsha Kramer Sunday morning at 1130 right here on CBS New York. And Scott McFarlane on The Point, that's going to be a show. You've got to watch, folks. And for all our election coverage, including information about local propositions on the ballot in your area, just head over to CBSNewYork.com and click on the America Decides tab.